So my opponent plays the Pilager as a first move and I don't play the Aspirant. It was my only option and uh, together with the Myrmidon, Myrmidon armor. But I'm not playing it because I'm planning to buff my Aspirant uh, in a different way. So now my first option is to put a Forgotten Spire Toy on the board. This is to... Uh, I mean... Um, to force my opponent to kill twice my Forgotten Spartoil, or I have another option of buffing my Aspirant if my opponent do not kill my Forgotten Spartoil on the board, and so it does it this time. So now I have two buffs to do on my Aspirant. So I play Aspirant and Forgotten Spartoil and I get the first buff plus I kill with the other Spartoil, uh, the Warriors of Ares and I get a 2-3 Aspirant. Now what you should normally do is you use, it, use uh, your 3-2 Shield of Alex right now here to kill my uh, Aspirant because otherwise I can get her out of control. I mean, I built this deck for this purpose. Uh, my opponent is making a mistake over here to don't kill my Aspirant. So now I still have one Forgotten Spartoy that needs to go, needs to kill uh, a card and come back. So on the comeback, I get again a 3-4 aspirant buff and now i have the mangrave tree as a five and the cyclone now what i'm actually going to do is to keep buffing my aspirant to a four or five killing the flamethrower and uh, leave an empty uh, uh, an empty board on the um, on my opponent's side uh, this is very powerful uh, there's not really much he can do right now because I have high defense as well. Uh, so my next move is going to be on six to put a Cyclops in. Uh, because uh, I'm going to protect my 4-4 four -four Aspirant. And of course also my 5-5 five -five, uh, are very high damage card. And over here I'm thinking to next move is going to be Kastikia in. So this is why I said I built this deck around how to buff and when to buff the Aspiron. Because as you, as you can see over here, I protecting all my cards basically, unless he has um, a Typhoon or something to silence my Cyclops. And my next move on 7-7 is perfectly done with the Caustikia. And normally I would buff my Aspirant to a 5-6, but because she got one damage, it's going to be a 5-5. Uh, five, uh, five, five. And, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty, pretty much finished. I already have 18 points to attack. And... Yep. So this is the way I wanted to buff my Asper Aspirant. There are many others, and this, this one came out pretty nicely. And I hope you enjoyed and you learned something from it. See ya, bye! Okay, so I want you to leave you with a little tip as well to don't make this kind of a mistake. Um, so my opponent over here, he is going to play an, a one Cobaloi and he has five cards in his hand. And now he's playing the Cobaloi Infestation. Okay, so what the Infestation does is it gives you a chance to get a new card after playing the infestation card but he 
if you play a cobaloi first, so in the same round, in the same turn, if you played a cobaloi, it's gonna give you one cobaloi from your deck, and uh, if you have remained in your deck, and plus you're gonna get one extra card. You're gonna get two cards on the cost of one. It's very powerful, and I would suggest to do it when you are low on numbers of cards in your hand. So let's say, let's say for example, now he actually got only one Cobaloi in his car, in his, in his, in his hand. Let's assume he had three cards in his hand. He's going to play one infestation after one Cobaloi and he's gonna get, he was gonna spend one card and get in one Cobaloi and one extra card. So he, he basically in one move, he knows that he's gonna get a Cobaloi and plus another extra card. So in this way, you will never run out of cards. And in this instance, actually he plays it twice. So switching, let's say two Cobaloi's, but not getting the extra card because he was already on six. So this is some things to keep in mind when you play.